Hi there, fire catchers. This is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and you're watching the weekly, your weekly, weekly worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. We're talking to you on June 11th, and I have some really extra special guests today. Uh, we, as you know, uh, Catch the Fire Worship Flags is committed to supporting missions uh, both locally and globally, and today i have rachel and ben brooks uh, with me you know as fire catchers we actually support them uh, everything that comes 10 percent of what what we make and the revenues always goes to missions at minimum and so i just want to let you know um, how i met them i met them actually six years ago when i was on a missions trip to cambodia and they were part of the world outreach team that we connected with and, and so they specifically work with unreached people groups. And so, um, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. And so could you just tell us what it is that you do and tell us about the un -people, unreached people groups. Yeah, sure. So um, we are with World Outreach and we have about 250 different missionary personnel serving in 70 different nations amongst 150 different people groups. And um, what that means is um, that we work amongst people that where they don't have access to the gospel, or they don't have sustainable churches that they can self-propagate, self-reproduce, and continue to grow and bring the gospel. Um, John Piper is famously known for saying that the missions is not the ultimate end of the church, but worship is. And worship missions exist where worship does not. And so for us, our passion is about um, bringing the gospel to people and so that they can worship God just like we can worship here. Anything else? And how long have you been in, you've been working in missions for a really long time, yeah. like pretty much your whole marriage. Can you yeah, so we've been in missions for about 16 years. We've worked in a variety of different countries over Southeast Asia and into Africa. Um, we work in a lot of, uh, amongst people in a lot of high risk security zones. So we're not very public about things, but um, yeah, so our passion is about starting new churches and um, movements amongst unreached people groups. So we have people working um, in all different places. Um, we're pioneering teams right now into Sumatra and to some different um, people groups in that area, um, which is exciting. We're seeing some, some fruit. It's a little bit slow. It's hard ground because worship does not exist and um, they're, they're resistant people. So we're excited about what God's doing there. Um, but we've had breakthrough in lots of different other places and countries and people groups. Um, whole people groups who are now following Christ it's awesome it's so did you hear what he said that that missions exist because worship doesn't and as a worship uh, group that we're all about the worship and we're all about um, worshiping his name in every place in every language uh, this is something that is definitely close to our heart and, and your heart and if this anything has been stirred we've been talking for the last two days about what Need, the need is so great. We know that this, the harvest is re ripe, and the but pray for the workers. And the work is hard, right? Yeah. So what are some ways that people could get involved? Yeah, so people can get involved by um, either supporting missionaries or being involved in the missions, going themselves, um, going on prayer trips and worship trips where you go and you just pray over cities, you pray over people groups, um, and start breaking up the ground and start getting it ready for the seed to be planted. Um, we have short-term trips, we have um, internships, we have two-month trips, all variety of things. Join a church planning team. There's a variety of ways to get involved. Um, you can learn more about that at worldoutreach-world.out. Uh, sorry. I have, the, I have the link. You have the link? <laughs> the link is actually in, in the notes. World-outreach.com, and you can find out more about um, ways to get involved there. And if you actually want to get in touch with Ben and Rachel, you can contact me directly and I can put that information, get that information to you. Yeah. Uh, and if there's any other way that I can help connect you with World Outreach, I'd love to be able to do that. Um, so they've been, they're in the United States now for, or we're in Canada right now, they're going to the United States uh, for a few weeks in the summertime where their uh, families live in Salt Lake City. So they'll be spending some time there. Um, but we were just really lucky to be able to host them. I've taken them up to Whistler. So those in the recharge, with Firecatchers Recharge, tell them what they you think of Whistler. Yeah, Whistler's fantastic. Awesome. We love the mountains. <laughs> it's great. So the, fi the Firecatchers Recharge event July 4th to the 7th is still available and open for you to register. So there's information, the link is there. We would love to have you part of that group. And I just wanted to let you know that the, the featured worship flag for June, the Heavenly Places 
worship flag is you can save 15% right now it's only available until June 30 or until supplies last this flag is actually selling out really quickly so please if you're interested don't wait until the end of the month because you think that you can that you'll have lots of time I don't think you will so the link is there until next week I um, love you guys keep worshiping bye